Good morning, good morning, hello and welcome back. If you are just joining us for the first time, my name is Hun. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So last couple years I've been using uh, pretty much Bravo products, Bra uh, Bravo Barista Pro, Barista Express, that's what we're gonna use the, uh, this morning. And also I've been using Rancheria Silvia, uh, let's see, La Paboni, I can also a lot of manual espresso machine as well. So this week I'm trying to focus on the, go back to basic. Okay, so basic to how to make coffee. So yesterday, uh, if you missed it, make sure to check it out my yesterday's video. Uh, trying to, you know, I was show, uh, showing guys how to make, you know, decent espresso. So this morning, let's talk about, most of you are watching this because you have Bravo Brista product at home, okay? Or some other uh, espresso machines. So this morning, we are going to talk about filter baskets. Okay, so we are going to talk about filter baskets. Uh, whenever you buy, brand new the back of your tray you're gonna have two you're gonna have four filter baskets okay and then uh, 12 of them are single size and 12 of my double size and then that comes with two uh, si uh, single wall baskets and double wall double wall wall means they are pressurized baskets so pressurized is good for if you are using like pre grind coffee or uh, if not if you don't want to mess with the grinder size early in the morning so you don't have to, you know, worry about dealing with adjusting your grinder size. So uh, let me show you about the, okay. you know what's showing is a lot easier than explain to you. So this one is a pressurized basket. They look like regular baskets, but if you see here, you go, you're gonna see a tiny hole. So all the extraction coming from that tiny hole. Uh, let me show you, I think, It'd be easier to show you guys. I'm just gonna lock it in my pressurized basket there. And then I'm just gonna use my little cup. Uh, watch this. this. This is pretty cool. I mean, I love, you know, sh sharing, with you, showing guys this video portion of it. So, okay. From here. So this is a pressure at ice baskets. Hope you guys can see it. So that tiny streaming, everything's all pressurized. They give you a perfect nine bar every time. So that is pressurized. So non-pressurized, obviously there's no pressure behind it. You know what, let me, you know what, let me show you guys non-pressurized as well. Okay, since you haven't seen it. So this is non-pressurized. Just give, give us a quick, quick view. Just non-pressurized. Okay. So that is the main difference. Actually, there is a big difference. Well, with the non-pressurized baskets, you're gonna see a lot of crema. But that's not the real crema, okay? It's, uh, they're fake crema because everything is pressurized. I mean, everything looks like you have a full. So this morning, I'm gonna pull the two shots, okay? Uh, this week, I'm uh, featuring the mirror coffee from the Bellingham, Washington, okay? So this one has a really nice uh, tasting notes. Uh, cherry, uh, green apple, and dried fruit. So it's very bright and sweet. Uh, let's pull the two shots, uh, one with pressurized baskets, one with the non-pressurized baskets using the built-in grinder. So let's get going here, okay? I'm gonna start with uh, non-pressurized non-pressur uh, baskets. I'm not gonna use a bottomless because it's gonna be really messy. So I've been warming up my uh, filter baskets, pop it in, and I'm gonna use about 19 gram, okay? All right, so let's get going here. Okay. So I got 19 gram here. Uh, comes the grinder size, again, if you are using the pressurized basket, don't worry about it. Uh, I usually set it right on the middle. Uh, number eight.
And then also I like to finish by just tap it. I know some of you uh, have a single dose mod for my Brewster Pro, but I mean, the, those modifications are not bad, I have to say. I've been really enjoying using it, okay. Uh, comes to like temping pressure. You know what? Don't worry about that as well. It's not that important. Okay, I'm just gonna distribute. I mean, that's the great thing about uh, pressurized baskets. If you are, you are in a hurry in the morning, I mean, that's perfect for that. Okay. And I think I have, so pretty much this is it. Just lock it in. And if you want to measure out the ratio, okay, I mean, you can do so. So I'm, so I'm using what, 19 grams, so extraction time. I'm not too worried about that. But I do want to yield, okay? I want to yield about about 38 gram to like 40 gram there. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. Okay. So we are using the pressurized baskets. It's all the pressure coming out. Beautiful crema as well. As we can see, lots, lots of crema. That doesn't mean they are tasty. Well, you know what? Let's find out, okay? Let's find out about uh, this espresso, okay? I mean, I don't usually drink a pressurized basket uh, from the espresso from the pressurized basket, but let's find that for you. Smells good. So this is, uh, let's say, cherry, green apple, and dry fruit, okay? Cheers, everybody. Okay, some, uh, actually it's not bad, okay? I, I can definitely taste the green apple. Very strong green apple. My temperature is good. I mean, overall, this is a good drink. That's a lot better than, you know, some coffee shops out there, so. So this time, uh, let's use a non-pressurized basket. And then see uh, what's the difference in quality is. By the way, uh, with pressurized baskets, uh, getting the puck out is not easy, okay? So make sure the getting puck out is not easy. So uh, if you're having a hard time, don't worry about it. That's what it is. It's just you have to work at it a little extra. Okay, so next one, we're gonna be using the non-pressurized. I'm just gonna flush one more time. Uh, comes to grinder setting, you know what, I'm gonna set at number seven, okay? Because I like to start with kind of like middle of the road. So, and then I'm gonna be using the same dosing amount as well. I got around 19.5 gram here. Okay. But this one, I'm gonna be timing it. Okay. Okay, again. Make sure get all the coffee beans out. All right. So this time, since, so this is a non-pressurized, so it comes to distribution matters. So I've been playing with this copy of puck rake, okay? And if I'm using the like bottomless pore filter, I even more, you know, I distribute even better than this, but since we are using the spouted, so it should be all right. Okay. 
I'm just going to just make sure everything is uh, nice and flat. I'm going to distribute properly. And then it comes to temping pressure, you know what? Be consistent. Doesn't matter if you are using, you know, 10, 15, or 30 pounds. As long as you're consistent, you, you're going to be fine. Okay. So this time, let's pull the shot here. Um, again, so it's about 19 grams. So I'm looking at about 38 to like 40 gram shot. Get the, get the little bit of. Okay, let's try again. Here we go, guys. Shot looks really good. I'm looking around 40 gram. I got 44 gram and then 23 seconds. I mean, look at the crema there. Okay, it's not the same as crema earlier. Okay. So the time, you know what? I like to be a little slower, but I'm in right now grinder setting at number seven. So, you know, you know uh, let's try that anyway. Let's try that, this coffee. So again, the first shot is good, okay? It's, but it's nothing special about it. But this second one, so this is non-pressurized basket. Even though it seems a little fast, but the shot quality, you know, is there. So, cheers. That smells wonderful. Wow. This time I can really taste the green apple and some dry fruit. This one I can drink, okay? Very light. Man, this is... Uh, compared to pressurized, the non-pressurized is by far, okay? We are talking about huge difference in the flavor taste. But, here's a big but though. I mean, if you guys like uh, people like my family, they like to uh, they like to use milk-based drink. Uh, once you put sugar and milk in it, doesn't matter which shot you're gonna get, it's gonna be still the same, okay? Because my family likes caramel. So, I mean, unless if you are like kind of like purist, I don't want to I don't want to use purist, but you know, you, if you guys like the really good tasting coffee, just way it designed to be. Uh, Definitely non-pressurized is the way to go. And make sure, spend the time to dialing in, okay? You're really gonna enjoy. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna shout out. I thought Mary was doing the super chat there. Thanks, Mary. So I just abled it's called super chat and super sticker. Uh, so what I'm gonna do with that money, uh, whatever money I'm gonna get, and then I'm planning to set that money to the side and we are going to get the kind of like E61 group, uh, group machine, okay? It could be, you know, definitely heat exchange or dual boiler, for sure. And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun there. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully we're gonna get something this year. So that's the goal. So I'll tell you what. So since we tried this, right? So we tried the comes the building grinder. Uh, I'm gonna have some bonus for you. So let's try with a uh, niche grinder. Okay, I'm gonna be using the niche grinder uh, with uh, IMS filter baskets. So I'm gonna be using IMS filter basket and the, with the bottomless. So let's find that. It's gonna be any taste difference with IMS. So it's gonna be fun. Uh, I can't wait to share that with you. I'm just gonna flush. So with the IMS filter baskets, I like to use about like 21 gram, okay? So I'm going to be dosing at 21 gram. I wonder if it's going to be big taste difference. I don't know what you guys think. It's going to be big taste uh, taste difference between I, uh, niche versus built-in grinder. Let me know in the comment section, okay? 
All right. So let's see. Again, so with the IMS, uh, it's like 18 to like 22 grams. So let's do 21. Okay, 21 gram. Uh, comes the grinder setting on IM uh, niche. I'm just set it like right on the middle of express range, around 15 there. So, okay. By the way, so this one I got from uh, Amazon. It's kind of like, it's called a silicone cupping tool, kind of like a medical device. I'm telling you, this is the best uh, single dose mod for your niche, okay? This is great. It doesn't look much, you know? Looks somewhat ugly, but works amazing. Okay, so we have 21 gram uh, from Niche Grinder. Uh, I got the bottomless pour filter. I'm just going to lift gently. And then what I'm going to do is this copy puck, a cup, a puck rake. Right now, as you can see, it's somewhat uneven. So this one is really good to like, kind of like distribute. Okay. Ideally, I like to put on the dosing funnel on the top, but for this case, I'm just going to distribute properly here. Okay, like so. I know this is tedious, but let's find out what kind of result we're gonna get. Okay, I'm just gonna spin it around. Just give it a good even temp. Okay. I mean, as you can see, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see, still has plenty of space there. I bet you if I want to, I can put like 22 or 23 gram in it. Okay, here we go. So this, all right. I'm looking for the same time range. Uh, ideally, like between like 30 and 35 seconds. So let's find out here. So this is a uh, coffee using niche grinder and the IMS filter baskets. Hold on. I'd like to sh show you guys better view of the bottomless. Okay. All right. Okay, which means they are too fine. Okay, hold on, let's see here. I wonder we're gonna get a decent shot. Come on. There we go. So I got about 45 second shot there, about 39 gram, about, about 40 gram. So this is somewhat over extracted, but you know what? Man, that looks amazing though. Okay. So let's try that. Let's start try that shot. The thing about the using niche grinders, uh, especially you're using freshly roasted coffee, the grinder size changed every single day because I dialed in earlier yesterday and it was perfect. But this one, man, wow, smells, smells really good though. 
So if you're just joining us, uh, I just pulled a shot with niche grinder using niche and IMS filter baskets. So let's see. Cheers. Wow. Man. I have to say, okay, you know what? Even though Niche uh, sent me the grinder a couple years ago, and, you know, in a way, I'm kind of like somewhat biased because I'm a big fan of Niche, but drinking this right now, it's fantastic. Okay, it's not, I think it's going to be really sour from the extraction, but it's perfect. Okay. I can taste this green apple flavor, just incredible, and cherry with the aftertaste. Yeah, I mean, I don't usually say about grinders, okay? I mean, because I play with a lot of grinders before, but if you guys are thinking about upgrading your machine, if you have Bristol Express at home, if you're gonna upgrade one thing, get a good grinder. And uh, it doesn't matter, you know, I mean, Eureka Specialita is fantastic. Uh, niche is great, but if you guys like to drink like fruity coffee, fruity like something bright, Ethiopia or uh, Costa Rica, because they have a lot of fruit, they're conical burrs. So this one has a 63 millimeter conical burr inside. I'm just bringing out the, all those you know, brightness, those, those, you know, those flavors out. The flat burr is fantastic for like strong espresso, like dark chocolate flavor, like nutty flavor, bring out the flavor as well. So, I mean, ideally, you know, Having a both is ideal world, but if you like to drink like plain uh, espresso or Americano, something like that, conical bird is fantastic, okay? They're really good, but again, definitely taste so much better than obviously uh, pressurized baskets, but non-pressurized basket is pretty good as well. But if you want uh, that incremental improvement on your coffee, Definitely, you know, getting an upgraded grinder is good. I mean, that's ideal. But if not, okay, I mean, built-in grinder does fine job. Okay, fine job. Uh, anyway, I hope this video helps. Okay, if you guys like this video, make sure press like. And then, uh, so this way, we kind of like revisit my, you know, old videos I did, kind of like re-updating it somewhat in live session. So hopefully, you know, you guys can make better coffee at home. Uh, any questions? Oh, okay. So, so they just informed me that uh, if you are living in uh, UK, uh, they're adding some more inventory, okay, on to their website. So if you guys are interested, make sure I get a, a buy from their website. There's a lot of fake ones out there, so you got, you you need to be careful. Okay, there's a lot of fake ones, and I know some vendors they buy. Okay, they buy a whole bunch, they mark it up and resell it on the retail market. So you know what? I mean, I know they have to make money, but you know, that's just make sure just go to website. Okay. By the way, um, if you guys saw my video last night, the how to make this skillet at home, I mean, one of my viewers made a great point. Okay. Because I was using the citric acid. Hold on. Let me show you. So all the descaler, I'm mean, even my Lapaboni or Laurentia Lewis Rivia, uh, they use the citric acid. Okay. So I have a recipe for that, but Bravo, Espresso machines, especially Brista Express and Pro, they don't have boiler. Okay, they do not have boiler, which means they just go through the line. So, it may not, it may not work with citric acids. Okay, because in a cleaning tablet, we know that works uh, comes to back flush. I mean, that's why I I think about this one last night. Uh, this descaler solution here. Uh, so now there comes a two pack. So they're fifteen dollars, okay? Four dollars. So you can. So this one, 110, 110 grams. So which means, uh, eleven times you can use this. So this one, I got two bottles. You can use four times per year. So it is expensive, but this this scale is a lot more thicker, and seems like okay. I mean, uh, you know what? If you guys know anything about. The, how this scaler works, please leave, uh, uh, leave me on the comment section, okay? Because I love to hear from you, uh, you experts out there, because because with this scaler, you have to sit, okay? Sit to remove that calcium buildup, so. Because I'm living in Tucson, 
man, we have really, really hard water. So I, all my water is still filter water, but still hard. I mean, that's the reason why I do this gear regularly. But I mean, if you are living in soft water countries, uh, you may not have to worry about it. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. Okay, I love to hear from you guys. And what else? Uh, uh, X Bar just uh, they launched the Kickstarter uh, as of this morning. So make sure to check it out. And I think it seems like I'm the one having a problem with it. I know Brian got one. Uh, Brian is another YouTuber. I know I've been talking to him. He uh, he's having a pretty good success with X Bar machine. I know Matt from Lifestyle Lab. He's been playing with it. He told me he he's having a good time with a bike pump. So I don't know how he does it, but love to hear from him uh, next time. So uh, any questions? Matthew says he has the Eureka Specialita. Yep. And Okay, so Eureka, yes, I mean, but again, the built-in grinder is fine, okay, but if you have an upgrade like Eureka Specialita, I think that's, they're pretty fantastic coffee grinder. So you're going to get a better flavor, a more balanced uh, flavor, so yeah, definitely. Um, uh, Dane said, a great shot from non-pressurized basket is much better than what you can get from pressurized. Oh yes, uh, I mean, Dane is correct because you're going to get a so much better shot with a non-pressurized basket. Than pressurized basket. If you are used to drink from like Keurig or one of those pot in past, huge upgrade. Okay, huge upgrade from those machines. But I mean, that's why if someone asks me who, which machine should I get, unless if you want to take a new hobby, uh, stick with the like Brabble machine. Brabble machine has been proven. Okay, proven for years and years. So I mean, I, I don't get no kickback from Brabble, by the way but i just like the machine there comes the consumer rep machine that's the best one out there uh, i think we are good this morning okay i hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and if you haven't tried the non-pressurized baskets make sure to try it at home and if you ha have any questions or comment make sure to do so uh, by the way i'm going to jump into instagram for q a if you ha have any questions uh, if not, show us your setup as well. Uh, we do have a lot of fun with uh, my Instagram live. So, and I usually upload like food videos, my recipes, and it's a lot of fun, kind of like behind the scene. Anyway, uh, have you guys having a wonderful day?